Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon and I'm back again with another series review. I just recently had a chance to see Umbrella Academy, which was on Netflix. And yes, I am a huge fan of the comic book, if you didn't <laughs> already know. But my favorite character has always been Rumor. And of course, I like all of the characters in general, but she just was always my top <laughs> as far as the Academy characters go. And it's a very short series, and I do believe that they have greenlit a second and, and third, according to my friend's knowledge on this. But there were some people that were complaining that some of the source material was not true to the comic, and honestly, I can understand why they did that, but it didn't really bug me per se. I, I'm not a purist in that aspect. I thought that the changes that were made were necessary for the format of television. And of course, <coughs> it made everything more logical, if you can say that, and more sensical. But as far as series are con con concerned, this is absolutely tremendous. It's phenomenally done. There are some really witty one-liners that come through a lot of the characters and their personalities and this dysfunctional family and uh, post-apocalyptic, well, actually apocalyptic scenario that unfolds. And it's very amusing, <laughs> actually. And I've always liked apocalyptic series films, and I don't know, I've, I've just been so taken by it and obsessed with the idea, but I've never really grasped the reason why. It may be the same kind of feeling that I get from a psychologically charged, suspenseful um, zombie film, because it's more about survival and this, that human instinct, and um, also the mundane part of it, how people just live or do their best to live without becoming infected and it has that same kind of pull to it but in this case it's more of how are we going to survive is there any way that we can stop this apocalypse from occurring and yeah it's it's different it's um very unique of course, these themes have been hit upon before, and it's nothing new, but I absolutely savored every second of it. I thought that the soundtrack was very delightful and um, curious in the choices of music that they picked, but all were just spot on with the, the mood and the scenery and... Some of the songs were actually kind of amusing in of themselves, but I could see why they made that distinct choice in trying to be different. And different is good. But now I want to see a season two because I want to know what happens to some specific character in the very last episode. I'm not going to say which one, but it's one that I really liked as a villain. And I never thought that I would, but I feel like she's absolutely necessary and she moves the plot forward considering our heroes and she's the um, epitome of what a foil should be according to villainy and um, just her overall lack of empathy and humanity and all that. But other than that, the series definitely warrants two thumbs way up for me. Five stars hands down. No questioning, no vetching, no nothing. is perfect. And it um, has some of the most creative opening sequences that I've seen. And it's just so seamlessly done. And I like the, the font that they used for the opening in and of themselves. It's very artistic and very aesthetically pleasing. So I thought, oh good, you did a really great job on your design. Um, but I really can't say that much else about it other than I'm eager to see what they will do in further seasons. So until next time, live long prosper.
Ciao a tutti!